Hello everybody, it's Ryan Oakley from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and uh, it turns out this step uh, was a, took a little bit longer than I had anticipated so I, I was trying to keep these videos down uh, to under 10 minutes if I could and so I've now split this uh, step 4 up into uh, two parts, step 4A and step 4B. So welcome to step 4B. Uh, after we got uh, through the last video we got all the way to the end of uh, setting up our fonts and our colors for our text and uh, now we're just going to finish off this page so it should just take a few minutes here under boxes uh, boxes are um, customizing these things here so if I wanted to use a, a custom background like black I can uh, but I don't want to <laughs> I actually really like this gradient that smug mug has here uh, by default so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that and I don't mind the borders either so I'm gonna leave that as well under photos I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, minimize a couple of these to give us some room so that we can see what we're doing header background text okay so we did boxes photos photos I'm actually going to uh, well let's just show you what what the photo boxes look like um, uh, they're certainly they're certainly not bad uh, for some reason, I feel like I I I, uh, I want to change it. I've I've changed it on the other site, so I'm going to go ahead and change this. It's it, this one's definitely up to you, whatever you want to do. But I'll tell you what I do. So this one's got a nice gray, but I'm going to go with a nicer gray, <laughs> if there's such a thing. Nine one nine one nine one is what I'm going to use, and it lightens that one up. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to darken this one up. So I'm going to use three nine three nine three nine. There we go. And uh, there we go. And then the right click message. So I was talking about this in a previous step where Smug Mug's got uh, built in protection. If I go into a gallery or someone goes in my gallery and they uh, they like this, this photo here, so they want to go ahead and download it. Well, if they right click on that, like you can normally right click on images online um, and then save them to your desktop. Uh, this right click protection comes up and it says the Johnny or the page at the at Johnny Walker Photography .com says did you know you can purchase digital downloads through the buy button cool eh <laughs> so instead of saying this image is copyright but blah 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 I'm trying to keep the language kinda soft to say yeah I know you were trying to grab this image but I've got it set up so that you can't and maybe you can choose to buy a digital download instead so it kind of encourages somebody to uh, to go ahead and do that so we're gonna copy and paste this language and whatever language you want to use you can put in there but I said do you know you can purchase digital downloads through the buy button cool a <laughs> I say a because I personally am Canadian but uh, Johnny Walker here is from the Antarctic well <laughs> getting ahead of myself okay so we're gonna go paste that it that in there, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna put quotations around this because I think it would uh, look better. So we're gonna do that. Quotations on either end. Okay. So our right message is or our right click message is complete. Now we're gonna go into the footer. So the footer is where we've got uh, this banner here and some information from Smug Mug. So I'm going to use a custom footer. And I'm going to use an image. So you can see the uh, the favicon image that we used earlier is now showing up fine. So that's just some smug mug just has that. So even when we um, upload, and this might by the time you watch this video, uh, smug mug might have fixed this little bug. But when I upload my banner, it's going to show up as that thin that thin uh, uh, that thin thin thing as well. So I'm going to go find my banner, which is right here, and I'm going to upload that. And I'm probably gonna, well, I might, I might end up doing a separate video um, as part of this tutorial, kind of separate, but um, not as part of the steps, but as a separate little um, piece of information or a tutorial that will show you how I create a banner for my site. But um, I figure a lot of photographers already are fairly decent at uh, um, web graphics, so you might already know how to do that stuff, but. Uh, if you're interested, send me uh, send me a message or put a comment on my uh, on the tutorial here. And if you're interested in seeing how I create my um, oops, 
how I create my banner, then uh, I can do that. I can set up a separate tutorial for that. Okay, we want to center the footer and the banner. And, uh, oh, I think this was blank before. I had to redo this, but I think this was blank before. So I'm going to blank that out again and show you what we're going to do. So we want our banner to be clickable. So we want to, uh, to head over here to our home page link. I'm going to go right click on that. I'm going to go copy the link address. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste that because we want the banner to point to our home page. Custom size, I'm going to leave that. And then the last thing we're going to change here is our home page, show usernames home page. So all that is, uh, let me see if I can find our site. All that is is this text right here. For some reason, it's it's on by default with uh, Smugbug, and we want to turn that off. So I'm going to click that off. And now when I go publish, I'm going to go OK. I'm just going to click out of that one. And I'm going to go back to our home page. Click the home, home, my home page there. So there's our new site. So we've got a nice uh, banner. We've got uh, we've kind of cleaned it up a lot. Got our new text and some of that stuff. And if we go into visitor view, uh, we can see that we've got our uh, things are looking pretty clean. Now we're well on our way to creating um, uh, Z website, which is this website here. And uh, there we go. So that's the end of step 4B. Uh, we're now at this point, and I believe in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio gallery out of the photos that we've already uploaded to our site. And then we're going to put that photo gallery link into our nav bar. So that'll be uh, step 5. All right, we'll see you in the next video.